Our verse today is Luke eleven twenty nine. When the crowds were increasing, he began to say, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. The crowds were seeking Jesus. They were looking for more miracles and signs. Jesus had performed so many signs, yet they were not convinced. They wanted to see more. Jesus therefore calls them an evil generation. Why an evil generation? They are not interested in the message, but signs and miracles. They are not seeking to know and love God, but to see an extraordinary power of God, the demonstration of the power of God. And Jesus says, no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. What is the sign of Jonah? In Matthew's gospel, the sign of Jonah is connected with the resurrection and the preaching of the good news. Matthew says, for just as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12, 40. Matthew then goes on to add, The men of Nineveh will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. Matthew chapter 12, verse 41. The implication is that the resurrection should be enough sign to instill faith. That is the greatest sign that God showed to the world. The resurrection is what makes Christianity different and unique from every other religion on earth. Jesus rose from the dead. In Luke's gospel, the author focuses on the preaching of Jonah and the repentance of the people of Nineveh. That is the sign. The people ought to focus on the message of Jesus. He is the good news of the Father. The message is meant to stir us to repentance and to come closer to God. What do Christians seek today? We are not different from the Jews of the time of Jesus. People scramble for space in programs where miracles are advertised. Some people go to church because they want miracles and signs, not because they want to encounter the message of Jesus and repent from their sins and get closer to God. I do not need any sign or miracle to believe in God and the power of Jesus. I have faith that the God who raised Jesus from the dead can do anything and all things for me. That is enough message for me. I do not need any further proof. The resurrection of Jesus is enough proof for me that God is powerful. The message of Jesus already tells me that God can do everything and there is nothing impossible for him. And I believe, and that for me is enough. So today, let us pray for that faith, rather than looking for signs and miracles. Lord, you have given us enough signs through the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Increase our faith and open our hearts to listen to the message that transforms us rather than focus on external signs that only excites. Amen. And I wish you a lovely day. God bless you.